An effort is underway right now to help prevent catastrophic wildfires from developing in our state's forests. So Kim joining us right now to explain more on this. A year after year, Kimmy, it feels like they've just been getting worse. No doubt about it. And there's really no end to our fire season these days. National forests cover 15% of Arizona and many are overgrown and have a lot of potential fuel to cause massive and destructive wildfires. So the U.S. Forest Service is working to prevent the next big disaster through forest restoration. Drone video taken just days ago of a prescribed burn happening outside of Payson shows one of several ways forest officials are mitigating mitigating the wildfire risk in our local mountains by thinning out the dense vegetation. About seven miles east northeast of Young in the Tonto Basin is an area that's being targeted next. U.S. forest officials call this the Flying VNH project. Here across roughly 1800 acres, they'll bring in excavators that are retrofitted to shred and grind trees and other shrubbery. The goal is to create a fire break for neighboring communities, protect power lines that feed the Phoenix metro area, and improve watershed conditions for SRP customers and create a more livable environment for wildlife. Historically, these areas were grasslands, but over time, due to fire suppression and cattle grazing, they've transformed to dense brush woodlands with invasive plants. These non-native plants are known to fuel very hot, large and catastrophic wildfires. If you look at the, the last 20 years, the, the size of fires that we're dealing with, um, they're getting larger and larger each season, and they're getting harder and harder con to control. Basically, we are trying to, to hit the reset button and uh, restore natural processes. Drone video here shows an area two miles southeast of Pine called Cedar Bench that went through a thinning restoration this past spring. Now sunlight can hit the ground more efficiently. Water can slowly soak in and thanks to rains from this past monsoon, fine grasses native to this area are already starting to sprout up. These new plants will be more nutritious for the animals that live here, including elk and deer than the spiny invasive plants that are difficult to digest. Now environmentalists say these projects are critical to combating the effects of climate change and they're being funded through your tax dollars, nonprofit groups and other partnerships. For more information on how to help with forest restoration, head to azfamily.com. Something we really need here across our state, Kimmy. Thank no you. No doubt about it.